Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design 8th edition by Joyce Farrell. And in this video we're covering Chapter 1, Exercise 7a. Uh, just remember as always this is a modified solution so everything you see here is just slightly, you know, there's some slight changes. And if you have the book it'll be very easy to make the corrections necessary. Um, this problem only asks for the pseudocode or the flowchart. But I will always um, code out the problems and we can see it work with every solution I do. Uh, so let's see, this problem is asking for us to enter the length of one side of this square tile and it's going to give us the area in square inches. So with the pseudocode we're going to have this start here. We're going to have our declaration section where we're going to you know, have all of our variables and with this one we've only got two, one side because all sides are equal with the square tile and then we've got the area. That's going to be a variable too because we need to output that. So now we've got a statement that we're going to output for the user to see so they can you know, be told to enter the length of one side of that square tile. And then we're going to have an area for them to input whatever value they think the side is. And then we're going to have a calculation here. So it's area equals POW parentheses side comma two close parentheses. You can't use this, let me uh, make a note here, this uh, raised to the second power. Um, this will not work unless you have this up here. So this include math.h. This was a little bit hard to find. Um, surprisingly, not a lot of people put that out there and have a good example of it in a program and can show you at work. So there's just a bunch of words that don't make a whole lot of sense and <laughs> it's very hard to understand so I'm painting a very clear picture for you here. In order to get this to work, this power function thing here, whatever it is, this needs to be up here. So then the next thing we're going to do is um, output this statement and whatever's contained in the variable area and then we're going to end the program. So it's very, very uh, similar so what you see up here, um, this is just more of a computer language. This is more of well, how we would talk. Still not entirely how we would talk, but just easier for us to understand. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we can see it work. Let's say one side is four inches. Yeah. So the area equation is is typically length times width. Like if you had a rectangle, you would you would need to make you know an integer for length or a variable for length and a variable for width. And then you'd also have another input here. Um, you know you'd have this another one of these two lines here saying enter the width of one side of the square tile, and then. Um, CN width and then in your calculations you would probably do area equals length times width instead of this power statement here and then um, everything else would be the same but with this uh, that looks like it's working right and I also want to make a note here too you see this little superscript 2 here that's all you have to do uh, this was surprisingly difficult to find as well um, I don't know why it's you know People can't be very clear and very simple with their explanations of how to get things achieved, but this is just all you need. And it took me a while sifting through a bunch of chaos and nonsense on forms, and a lot of people will write it out like, oh, you need to use this, you know, um, B2 or B2. They'll, they'll do something like this, and you'll find that on like the sites with all the Unicodes and stuff, but they don't, you know, say backslash you don't do the plus here, just zero zero b two, and you need to have those in quotation marks. So at least I have it there for you, nice and simple. And uh, that's all you need to get that little superscript too. And a lot of your Unicodes, when you want to do the dollar sign and everything, you know, you'll it's the same. It looks basically the same. Like this is the dollar sign, but we don't want that. We want this. 
So um, that's about it with this problem. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.